So sure, I think like you said, MSME is always prone to uh, high NPS given the low resilience in the sector. But I think what we've seen over the last few years is a sharp decline in NPS, not just in the top end of the segment, but also in the micro and the small. And I think one reason is how do MSMEs get better at managing their business? Also, how do banks and NBFC start looking at early warning? Uh, like you said, I think the COVID initiatives which the government took around ECGS, etc. did help MSMEs come out of the cash flow crunch. And if we look at the recent numbers on slippages, actually they are steadily improving. So as MSMEs start getting more formalized, get a better uh, working capital cycle, that, MS that NPA number should start coming under control. Yeah, interesting question. I think, uh, you, like you rightly said, NBFCs do charge a higher rate. I think that price is for access, it is for a timely availment of credit, and it is for an availment of credit without necessarily giving through a large a set of collaterals and a lot more cash flow based. So if I am an SME, I would look at actually two, three things. You know, the interest rate will typically be lower for a bank given their cost structure. However, it depends on the need, uh, the assets that I have and what kind of lending am I looking for. Uh, for example, supply chain finance is heavily cash flow now. That's something that actually SMEs can get from banks at a lower rate. But if I am a new MSME where there is an inherent hesitation from the bank side uh, for taking a large loan. That's where NBFCs are really playing the game. Or in the larger areas where the access to banking MSME is not there. That's the other place where NBFCs are making a mark. No, and I think the compliance issue is something the MSMEs face and that's another in fact reason why banks start uh, suffering because you know there is a requirement for compliance. I think there are two, three big things that uh, MSMEs can look at I, apart from the formalization. Uh, the question is that you know we have a lot of these smaller startups which are coming in to support the SMEs on different initiatives whether it's around payroll management, stock management, uh, payment management, business MIS. I think that's going to make a big difference and what we are interestingly seeing is many of the lenders whether it's banks or NBFCs actually tying up with these providers to be able to do a holistic offering for MSMEs. And that's something that's really taking off right now. You know, so you see any of the POS providers, for example, uh, even for a small Kirana store, while it was just a POS, it is becoming a more comprehensive offering. And that's, I think, the way that the uh, market is going to evolve.